All right, welcome back, everybody. We're going to continue on playing Fairy Bloom Freesia, and today we're going to go through days 11 through 16, uh, tackle the third boss, and hopefully we can beat that in a timely manner. And it takes me less than 30 tries. So we'll continue where we left off at day 11. And as always, start off by spending the rest of our mana that we earned last time. And we've picked up a couple of new basic skills. We have Ether Saber 2 and Blast Hammer, which I don't have the mana for. So that will be our first priority as soon as we get enough. Uh, we also have a new special skill, Sonic Rampage. I actually do kind of like this one, and I do use it. Wait, I think so. I forget, yeah, but I think I do. Uh, but I don't know if we'll pick it up or not. And now we also have Woodpecker, which fires repeated magical blasts directly ahead. And let's see. Air Raid, Force Field. And we haven't picked up any new optional skills. But you can see that, you know, our mana costs for upgrading HP and strength boost are getting significantly more. Um, but we should still have them near maxed out by the end of the game. I think we can get up to like the next to last one. But the last upgrade's like 2,000. Also, as we go through different stages, you can tell that it changes a little bit. First couple days were spring, and now we have summer, and then now we have fall. And you also see that the enemies have upgraded a little bit. Now their little basic energy attack will split into threes, and this is fucking annoying as hell. Because you can see now that when they s there's a bunch of them, it's fucking impossible. And now we have new, also new enemies, uh, the little flying black guys. They're really not too bad, but they're still kind of annoying, only because they can fly around and teleport. If you did not know how to, you know, combo the enemies into each other, you will by the end of these set of days. I don't have it yet, really. Not really. Stage is Vortex, and we have enough mana to get Blast Hammer, and nope, oh we got a new one, Silhouette Mirage, input and press direction to instantly move in that direction, and Tetsu Zoka, Zanko, <laughs> stop an enemy attack and counter with the shoulder block. Um, this, I think, is pretty much kind of like just defense plus, so you can block their attack and then counter. Uh, again, that requires to have really, really, really good timing, and I do not have that. And then we get regenerate as an optional, which regenerates our HP slowly, and that's it. But I'm gonna go ahead and nope, don't have enough. 
save again, and go to the next stage. levels and just failed. That time we had significantly better progress. Leveled up twice and get a new skill. It's not our last basic, so. So now we have inno Innocent Pendulum. Magically seize and swing an enemy. I don't think I've ever actually used that one, so. And we have Bontum. Mid-range forward firing magical blast and explodes on contact. I don't think I ever used that one either. Um, we have unlocked Dying Rat. So the lower her HP, the higher her attack power. Soul Steel, defeating enemies reco recovers HP. Now sometimes enemies will drop health, so I haven't really used that one either. Um, but I guess if you're having a really super hard time, you can try it out, but I would save before, that way if you don't like it, you can just reload and you can get back the mana you spent.
There's day 14. Another vortex stage. Let's see, basic attack? Nope. No new specials. Alright, so we don't really have anything to spend the mana on this time, so we'll just save it. Now this is a vortex stage, so now we're starting to have multiple ones in each stage. Now, you can let all of them die, except one. So if they all die, you lose, but if you can keep at least one alive, it doesn't matter what happens to the other two. Day 15. A little harder, a little bit more stressful, but nah, not too bad. Okay. Now we have Lightning Drop. Drop and attack enemies immediately below you. And Shrike fires a laser directly ahead. Again, nothing I've. I don't think I've ever used either of those, so I'm not going to pick either of those up. We've also got Rune Soul, reduces the rate of MP usage. Uh, okay. I did uh, play through a couple stages using just magic and MP, and it's really not too bad except you just take way too much damage. I It was too glass cannony for me, so I declined it. So we'll put in a point into HP boost. We'll save. And if this takes me more than two or three, if this takes me more than two tries, I'm just going to edit all the other tries out, and I'll let you know how many tries it takes me because this fight just gets absolutely ridiculous, and it it frustrates me to no end. Course we hit the freeze, but eh. And I tried playing this just normally, and for some reason it would freeze up like that too, so it's not that I'm recording or anything, it just does that for some reason. So Shimi is a ranged attack master. And all she does is throw out little freaking kunai knives and projectiles. And it is... It just gets worse and worse and worse as you get lower in her HP. 
So the, the idea is to take as little damage as humanly possible in the beginning because you will need every scrap of energy you possibly have by the end. It doesn't even good, do much good to run from her because she'll start doing attacks that home in on you. And not just one, but like six or seven of them. So those little homing knives, uh, they'll all go in one direction depending on where you are at the time they launch. And you also have to worry about these guys. That will now start spawning as well. Not like you don't have any other problems you have to worry about. I don't have much problem with her up until the end part, because then she starts getting... Now she starts getting hard. Yeah, and then she starts doing that. And that will almost instantly break your guard. <laughs> Or, I can beat her on the first try. Way to make me a liar game. Bum bum bum. So that's Shiny in day 16. We'll finish up this cutscene and then we'll end it here. Alright, so our little new uh, character is called Plum. So he gets off a couple, uh, <laughs> a couple jabs at them for failing all the time. I don't know what it is about that face. He uh, looks kind of like a lecherous old man, but eh.
All right. So now Plum's going to head out where they failed and is going to try and retrieve the stone. All right. But that's days 11 through, I guess, tech, yeah. Well, I guess technically, yeah, day 16. Yeah, so 11 through 16, uh, we get ridiculously lucky and beat Shiny on the first try. Um, hopefully all the rest of the boss battles go that smoothly. Um, but thanks for watching, and I hope you come back next time. So we'll do, what would it be, 16, 16 through 20 or 21? Uh, and face the next boss.